I think his name was Willie Anderson. He always logged on and said, I just logged on to say Pastor Jennings is a false prophet. Well, Willie, are you back? All right. Everybody got to come along and do the same thing to be right with God. Right. Every human in Charleston. That's right. In the midst of this beautiful weather, weather that y'all have down here. It's beautiful down here too. Charleston is a nice place. I'm pretty sure I'll be back. God be my helper. Amen. All right, Williams, open the Bible anywhere. Let's drop into the God's Word. Just parachute me anywhere, any book, any chapter, any verse, and let's dive and get busy here. In the book die, of die, die, die. All right, let's have it. First Corinthians chapter 1, we'll start at verse 9. All right. First Corinthians chapter 1, and we're at verse 9. What is it? God is faithful. God is faithful. By whom you were called unto the fellowship. By whom you were called unto the fellowship. Of his son, Jesus Christ our oh, Lord. Oh, that, that's, that, that sounds good. God. God is faithful. The divine nature. The eternal Father, the Spirit, right. is loyal. That's right. I have to break it down to the lowest common denominator. That's right. God, God is faithful. Faithful. The faithful. Spirit is loyal. That's right. Who is he loyal to? First, himself. That's right. He's loyal to himself until he bear witness to himself. That's right. Then what? God is faithful by whom you were called. By whom you were called. Unto the fellowship. You were called into the fellowship. Of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Hold it. That's how God called you. That's right. He called you through Jesus. Someone say, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. If Jesus Christ is God, how he going to call you through Jesus? That's right. <laughs> He called you through his son. That's right. He called you through the flesh. That's right. He called you through the man. That's right. He called you through the doorway. Mm. Jesus said, I am the door. I am the door. So in order for God, eternal spirit, Jehovah, the divine life, right. the everlasting Father, to call us with a holy calling. Holy calling. He manifests himself in flesh, and the flesh was called Son. That's right. It was Son of God and Son of Man. That's right. Son of God, because God was the Father and the creator of that flesh. Son of Man, because David was the father of the house that the flesh came out of. That's right. So in order for us to reach the Spirit, he called us through his Son, through his son. called us through a body. Now I hold it. That's right. That's Give me the book of Revelation. That's right. Let's see, is he calling the world the same way? Same way. He's still using his Son. That's right. He's still using a body, but now he's using the church. In the book of Revelation chapter 22. Get me, Revelation and, chapter 22. And begin at verse 16. All right. I, Jesus, I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you have those sent things of the my churches. messenger, have sent my preacher, have sent my angel to testify, to bear witness. In the churches. In the church. I am the root and the offspring of David. I am the root and the offspring of David. And the bright and morning star. And what? And the spirit. Hold it. Who is it? And the Spirit. Who is it? And the Spirit. And go back to Corinth, what the Paul said. God is faithful by whom you were called. Who is faithful? God is faithful. And what did John say? And the Spirit. That's the same one. That's, that's right. <laughs> Paul gave the title, John give the nature. That's right. Did you hear the old man? That's right. Paul gave the title, John give the nature, That's right. hmm. and then John 4.24 give title and nature. God is a spirit. God. God. Is. A spirit. A spirit. Hold it. 
being that there's a whole lot of spirits out here, I have to itemize this. Being that is countless of spirits. The word of God say, beloved. Give me first epistle, John first 4, epistle 20, of John. Uh, chapter 4, if you will. That's right. I want to itemize on the term spirit. That's right. Paul, John says what? First John 4, we'll begin at verse 1. Yes. Beloved. 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 Believe. Believe not every spirit. What shall we do? But try the spirits. Spell it. S-P-I-R-I-T-S. Test. Examine. That's right. Evaluate. Look them over. Try the spirits. Try the spirits. Spirit, whether they are of God. See whether they are of God. Because now, because many, many false prophets have gone out into the world. And what did they do? Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Wait a minute. Hereby know we God's spirit. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. That's what Jesus did. He right. came in the flesh. So God being a spirit, a spirit. Now you got to find out what kind of spirit right. is God. He is a spirit. He's the spirit of truth and he's a holy spirit. That's right. The holy spirit. That's right. All right, let's go back to Revelation then we go back to Corinth. I want to take my time and Itemize this. Back in Revelation 22 and at verse 17. Parliament. And the spirit and the bride say come. Wait a minute. God hmm. and the church say come. God and his son. That's right. Pastor, you're doing it again. Oh, and say, well, Hallelujah. the Bible said the spirit and the bride. Oh, the church is not the son. Give me the Old Testament. That's right. And let's see what did he ask to come out of Egypt. That's right. That's right. The church is called son and the church is called bride. And I'm going to show you why it got both titles. In the book of Exodus chapter 4 and at verse 22. Get me. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh. Thou shalt say to Pharaoh. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith God. Israel. Israel. Is my son. Is my son. Even my firstborn. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The church is called his son. son. Because the church are servants. That's right. Of the father. That's right. The church is called the bride because the church always producing children right. for the husband man, right. which is God. That's right. It producing children. That's right. And for the church produce children, seed got to be discharged. That's right. That's why you got to have a preacher. Amen. How can you hear without a preacher? And how can he preach? Except he be sent, and the seed is the word. That's right. It is not discharged from his lower nature, but it's discharged from his mouth. That's right. That the world may be fertile, mm. fertilized with the information of God. That's right. And once you become fertilized, then the characteristics of God come in you. It creates sons and daughter to follow now his precepts. That's right. And everybody got to have the same father. The same, that's, that's it. Bible said, hallelujah, have we not all? One father. One father. That's not one God. Hath not one God. Created us. One father. One father. One God. That's right. One head of the church. That's it. One Christ. That's right. That's right. So he called us by his son. By his son. He called us by using a mediator that will stand between spirit and the human family. That's right stood between for there is one god listen at this in the book of first timothy chapter 2 and there's one god and one mediator and one body between god and men what was the mediator god. god's body that's what right. was god's body the son of god that's right whether the son of god consists of flesh and blood that's right where did it come from the house of david the tribe of judah the descendants of shem that's right and one mediator one mediator between wait, god wait 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 where is it between god between god and men and you the man. Wait a minute. What nature was the mediator? The man. No, the spirit. The man. The man. You didn't see that part. Amen. Bible said there's one mediator. Between, between God, God and man. The man. And what nature was it? The man. Who was it? Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. 
The man of him. Get the old troublemaker. The man part of him. Go ahead, man. The flesh part of him. That's right. The human part of him. That's right. Was the mediator. Who gave himself a ransom for Wait all. Wait a minute. He did what? Who gave himself. That's not talking about the spirit. No. Because the spirit didn't give himself for a ransom. That's right. Because you can't kill God. That's right. That's right. In order to give yourself, meaning he offered himself for a ransom. That's right. That's talking about the man. That's right. Who would say God, Christ, Jesus. Now, out of ignorance, you would say that the second person in the Godhead. No, in him, the will of all the fullness of the Godhead bottom. Who gave himself a ransom for all. gave himself a ransom for everybody. To be testified in due time. To be testified in due time. All right, let's go back to Corinth now. Back in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 9. All of it. God is faithful. God is loyal. By whom you all go by whom you were called yes. unto the fellowship of his son, Jesus Now God Christ, has called Lord. the whole earth That's right. from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. That's right. He didn't call the whole earth to preach. <laughs> oh, no. No way. But he called the whole earth unto repentance. That's right. The whole earth. That's right. He's calling you to repentance. That's right. I don't care how white you are, how black you are, how much money you have. Hey man, your lifestyle, God don't care about that trash, and I sure don't. No. God is calling the whole earth. Uh, look unto me. To repentance. That's right. Until the word of God says. In Isaiah 45 and verse 22. God said, look unto us. Look unto me. Oh, we got one to look to. That's right. Hallelujah. Anybody here looking to more than one, you're looking in vain. You're going to be sadly disappointed. <laughs> that's right. You that are watching, that's looking to more than one God. You're heathens. That's right. Only heathens look to more than one. That's right. If you're a preacher, use a heathen preacher. Amen. Amen. If you're a church goer, use a heathen church member. That's right. We only got one God to look to. Look unto me. The one God say, look unto me. Unto me. And be ye saved. Be ye saved. All the ends of the earth. Why? For I am God. And there what? is. What? For I am God. I. I. That sounds good. I am God. I am God. And there is none else. No, there's two more with them. And, the, and there is none else. Yeah. The Bible <laughs> says there's none else. I believe that. To whom will you liken me? Who would you compare God to? And make me equal and compare me. Do you hear this? In Isaiah 46 and verse 5. You out there that are listening and you got to hear. Amen. Because there's a lot of men going in America and in foreign countries. Saying there, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Yes. There's a Hispanic fella, <clears throat> I believe in Puerto Rico or somewhere in Spain, say he's the Messiah. My Lord, my Lord. He's no more the Messiah than I'm a multi-millionaire. <laughs> That's right. There's white men, black men, Spanish, Asian. That's right. All of them declaring they are the Messiah. They want to be Jesus, and here it is, hard enough to be a good brother. For many shall come in my name. Do you hear what Jesus said? In St. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 5. Everybody in the world Hallelujah. got to make preparations to meet God. That's it. Now. Now. Not waste your time and prepare Hallelujah. for a Charleston, South Carolina Christmas dinner. <laughs> That's right. Not that. Mm. Hallelujah. I know there's many of you here got your little undercover Christmas trees, your so-called Christian heathens. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. You go to your church, you got your little manger of the devil on it. Amen. You got a little picture in your church that you claim is Jesus. And I keep telling you, that's not Jesus. No, it's that not. That might be somebody uh, from the 1960s. Maybe it's John Lennon. <laughs> that's right. Hey, Amen. Maybe it's Ringo Starr. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. that's right. But it certainly isn't Jesus. Amen. What is that? Take heed that no man deceive Take you. Take heed. Take heed. That no man deceive That nobody trick you. For many shall come in my name. Many. Many. Shall come professing the name of Jesus Christ. Saying, I am Christ. Amen. Amen. Not only does that mean they will actually say they're Jesus. That's right. Not only does it mean that. That's right. But it also dealing with those that would just profess. Right. To be servants right. of the Christ. That's right. Because they come in his name in all kind of ways. For many shall come in my name. Many shall come in my name. Saying, I am Christ. Saying, I am Christ. And shall deceive many. And they're going to trick what? And shall deceive many. And they trick too. And many false prophets shall rise. Wait a minute. Amen. Many. How many? And many false prophets shall rise. Can't count them. That's right. I know they're here in Charleston because my wife and I was walking down King Street 
And we walked by seven churches, and I just looked at them, several churches. <laughs> Unitarian this, Trinitarian that, Episcopalian this, Episcopalian that, Catholic this, Catholic that. Yeah, Amen. Right. Whenever I'm somewhere, I'm always looking at the devil workhouses. <laughs> that's right. Every time. Every time. And what make it so bad, people been raising this man-made religious trash all yeah, over the world. That's right. And here we come along pointing people back to Bible, yeah. and they think something's wrong with me because I'm telling you, come back to Bible. That's right. I'm telling everybody in the world, that's right. come back. Here, 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 here's your two alternatives. Mm -hmm. Come back to Bible or go to hell. That's it. Huh? That's it. That's the two alternatives. Come back back the Bible. That's right. Or when you die, you're going to make plans that go to hell. And many folks... Everybody under the sun, your wish up got to be scriptural. Yeah. Your belief in God got to be according to scripture. That's right. How you serve God got to be according to scripture. That's right. Your religion your got religion. to be in scripture. That's right. Your wish up That's got right. to be in scripture. That's right. The name of your faith Yes. must be according to the scripture. That's right. Everything. Your God. That's right. Got to be in the scripture. That's right. Your baptism got to be in the scripture. That's right. Your salvation got to be in the scripture. That's right. Your Holy Ghost got to be in the scripture. That's right. Your church got to be in the scripture. That's right. Don't go tell me how you was raised. No. If it's not in the scriptures, you was raised wrong. That's right. A lot of us are loyal to religion because our mother taught us this, or our father taught us this, or our grandfather taught us this, and we assume that they were right because they were our relatives. No. Oh, no. Spirit is thicker than blood. That's right. That's right. Yeah. For whatsoever things Lord, were written God, before time. Many of our relatives done the best they could. Yeah. They just taught us what was passed down to them. That's right. But here come the word of God of better and higher knowledge. That's right. And a better, hallelujah, and greater revelation. That's right. Amen. And this is what we are pushing on. Pushing we are just pushing it. Pushing, it to you. Pushing it. You can reject it all you want. That doesn't matter. <laughs> but right. thank God, you know, you Lord. know, when I came up, we couldn't choose what we want to eat. That's right. Mother said, all right, come on and eat. <laughs> All eight of us came and ganged up in the kitchen. That's right. And whoever couldn't fit in the kitchen, fit in the dining room. Yeah. But it wasn't no one fixing a special dish. <laughs> no. no. Oh, no. If mother cooked lima beans, pinto beans, macaroni and cheese, and candy yams, and turnip greens, and string beans, none of us testified and said, I don't eat that. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That man, my mother had to quote, eat. Or star. Or star. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Now I come along, eat this or go to hell. That's it. That's it. That's it. Huh? That's it. Someone say, I don't like it. I don't care. <laughs> That's eat right. it. Eat it. Or go to hell. That's right. Because your know, religion won't help you. No. If your religion is not in that Bible, then your religion is, it, it won't help you. That's right. Remember, your religion, your belief, your salvation, that your, your church, the, church. Well, the way you wish up, That's right. all got to come out that Bible. That's it. I don't mean you read a scripture and try to make it your religion. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. The first one that has to profess yeah. your religion yes. is God. That's right. Not the prophets, but we say God. That's right. Not the apostles. No. The first one That's it. that got to profess to be what you are is God. Is God. Why? Because God is our Father. That's right. And we are His sons and daughters. So this is why I'm telling the world: you Baptist, you Methodist, you Presbyterian, you Lutheran, you non-denominational, you Christian Scientists, you Evangelicals, and That's right. Apostolics and Pentecostals. Besides getting upset with me, come back to the Bible That's it. and tell me: Is God what you are? In the Book of Leviticus, chapter 19, we'll start. That's all. Morning. That's it. Hey Amen. Don't need to get on social media cussing me out because I don't, that don't phase me. No. 
mm -mm, they, don't, they don't need to go make people are making special podcasts dedicated to me. Wow. Special podcasts. They're broadcasting out of bathrooms, <laughs> sitting on the side of tubs, My trying Lord. to broadcast while they driving. <laughs> Amen. Sitting in a, in a makeshift room with a curtain behind them. My Lord. Come on back. That's it. Everybody under the sun. Everybody. Got to be what God is. That's it. Just tell me, am I wrong That's for right. telling the world everybody, everybody must be what God is? That's right. Everybody. Who wouldn't want to be what God is but a fool? Amen. Who would fight being what God is but a heathen? That's right. That's right. You fight Pastor Jennings. Hey, I ain't got nothing to do with it. No, I no. didn't tell you to be holy. No. I never told you to be holy. Oh, you lying. I heard you said it. No, you didn't. No, that's right. You heard me quote it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it. You heard me repeat what somebody else said. That's right. Huh? In Leviticus chapter 19 and at Hold verse it, 1. God. Follow me in your Bible. Leviticus chapter 19 and we're at verse oh, 1. Oh, you Pentecost, the churches, apostolic, non-denominational. Baptist, Catholic, Methodist, I don't care who you are, it doesn't matter. You gonna do this thing like God said, That's or it. sit still and get ready to die and go to hell. Leviticus 19. Because this is one scripture nobody gonna jump over. Mm -hmm. It's higher than heaven, yeah. it's deeper than hell, it's broader than the sea yeah. and longer than the earth. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna get around it, you're not gonna get under it. You got to come to it because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and yeah. the life, and yeah. no man come to the Father except yeah. by me. That's right. Amen, and if you get to the spirit by Jesus, Hallelujah. you can't get to him unless you follow his teaching that's and right. go by what's written. That's it. That's it. And Jesus said, you fool. That's right. And slow of heart. Slow of heart. Believe all yeah. what the prophets, the prophets. have said. That's and right. now let's get the prophets now. In Leviticus chapter 19, we're at verse 1. I want all of you that are here that's a member of some church. Amen. Whether it's in Charleston or any other part of South Carolina or outside of South Carolina, see are you this. That's right. See are you what God is. In Leviticus chapter 19 and at verse we 1. We're doing a Charleston investigation tonight. Amen. Huh? Amen. We're doing an investigation tonight. We're going to preach this until preach we it. die. That's right. Huh? That's right. Everybody got Amen. to do the same thing. That's right. What did he say? Leviticus chapter 19 and we're at verse 1. What is it? And the Lord spake unto Moses saying. No. Amen. That crazy preacher Gino Jenner said it. And the Lord spake unto Moses Not saying. Gino Jenner? And the Lord spake unto no. the Lord spake unto Moses saying. The Lord spake. One preacher, amen, made a whole podcast. He said, that's Gino Jenner's holy teaching. Really? R really? This stuff was written before I was born. That's right. When you receive the Holy Ghost, it's the Holy Ghost. That's right. Not a Catholic ghost, Baptist ghost, Lutheran ghost, a non-denominational ghost. No! No. It's holy. Holy. To let you know it's clean. That's right. Everything else is dirty. That's right. Huh? And the Lord spake. The Lord spake. Unto Moses saying. Unto Moses saying. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. Wait a minute. How much of the congregation we should talk to? Speak unto all the congregation. Hey, hey, preacher, preacher, you preachers that are here. Amen. And you preachers that are watching, I'm talking to your congregation too. That's right. The Bible says. Speak unto all the congregation. All the congregation. Of the children of Israel. And say what? And say unto them, ye shall be holy. Shall be holy. What's the reason? For I, For the I, Lord your God. The Lord your God. Am holy. Amen. If you are holy, you wouldn't have a Christmas tree. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't have a Christmas wreath. That's right. You wouldn't be waiting for Santa Claus. <laughs> you wouldn't right. lie and say Jesus was born the 25th of December and the Bible ain't never, never. gave his birthday. That's right. The choir wouldn't be singing Christmas carols. That's right. You wouldn't have a Christmas tree in your fake Christian home. That's right. Ye shall be holy. Your fake Christian home. That's right. Your choir wouldn't be having red and green robes on. Amen. Amen. You wouldn't have no Christmas plays in your church. That's right. Amen. The deacon wouldn't be dressed like Santa Claus with your children sitting on the lap of a church pervert. That's right. Huh? Ye shall be holy. What? Ye shall be holy. The Bible ain't never said Christmas is Jesus' birthday. No. 
Never. 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 That's right. And I know some of you here got Never your seen. trees and reeds and still say you save and sanctify. No, you not save and sanctify. No, no. No, again. Your salvation and your sanctification yeah. got to come out the Bible. That's right. Huh? That's right. You know, a lot of men come to me and say, I agree with some things you say. And I tell them I didn't say nothing. Mm -hmm. I didn't say nothing. Williams is reading all this stuff. That's right. What did he say? Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be holy. For I, the Lord your God, am holy. All right, let's go back to Corinthians Also in now. the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6. All right, the wisdom of Solomon, the 6th chapter. And at verse 10. Solomon. For they that keep holiness. Wait a minute. They that keep holiness, that keep holiness, holiness, holily, do what? Holy. They that keep holiness, holy, shall be judged holy. Amen. 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 They that keep holiness, holy, holy, shall be judged holy. What do you mean? Don't change it. That's right. Don't you change it. Hallelujah. The Bible says they that like, leave holiness. Holy. Holy. Shall be that judged holy. Can leave it like God have it. That's right. Keep holiness holy. If they receive the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, don't you change it and say That's you ain't right. got to speak. That's right. You got to keep it holy. Keep it. That's right. Hallelujah. If, if the Bible said repent and be baptized, Hallelujah. every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, don't change that. That's right. To bow your head, that's right. Raise your hands, accept Christ as your personal savior. Keep holding this holy. Pray some sinners' prayer. That's right. Join the church. What? They that keep holiness. They that keep holiness. Holy. Holiness. Holy. Keep it holy. Shall be judged holy. Hallelujah. Keep it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you say. When you, yeah, when you say only black folk gonna be saved, that's not keeping it holy. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. When you say only white folk gonna be saved, you ain't keeping it holy. That's right. Do you hear, do you hear the wisdom of Solomon? Wisdom of Solomon chapter 6 and at verse 10. A lot of folk don't even know this is in the Bible. That's right. It says what? For they that keep holiness holy. Don't change it. That's right. And call it something else. Right. Keep holiness what? Keep holiness holy. Change it to apostolic. Keep holiness holy. Change it to Pentecost. Keep holiness holy. Change it to non-denomination. Keep holiness holy. Come on back. Hallelujah. Come on back. Hallelujah. Come on back. That's right. <laughs> Keep holiness holy. That's right. They help. They that keep holiness holy shall be judged holy. All you preachers Hallelujah. and all you churches Hallelujah. that change this to something else. That's right. You're not keeping it holy. Holy. That's right. God is holy. That's right. His precepts. That's right. Holy. Holy. You got to keep it, keep it holy. Like God have it. They that keep holiness holy. Get chapter and verse again. In the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, and we're at verse 10. Follow me in your Bible, viewers. For they, I got pre preachers are raging now. Yeah. He talking about way in apostolic. That's right. That's right. And you better not tell me you are. I make you find it. <laughs> That's right. I make that goes for anybody here. That's right. I make you find it. Amen. The Bible giving us instructions here. In the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6 and verse 10. It says what? For they that, they, they, that keep holiness. That keep holiness. Holiness, holily, if we keep it the way God have it, shall be judged holy. That, that's it. Now, that's it. If we be judged holy, blessed, that's right, and holy, and holy, is He, that's right, that has part, that has part in the first resurrection, and the first, hallelujah. Resurrection on such, on such the second death, the second death has no power. Don't have no power. That's right. That's right. Charleston. That's right. Charleston. That's right. You that are visiting here. Amen. What is your faith? What is your faith? Don't get mad at me. Follow me in the Bible. You claim you believe it. That, that's right. What is your faith? That's right. That's right. 
What's your faith? Ephesians 4, 5 says what? One Lord, one faith, one baptism. What is your faith? What's your faith? Human family, hard head, self-righteous, stiff-necked things. Yeah. What is your faith? What's your faith? Hey, Mr. Apostle, prophet, bishop, evangelist, pastor, That's right. assistant pastor, junior hypocrite, <laughs> senior right. devil. That's right. What is your faith? What is your faith? What is it? Bible says one Lord, one faith, one belief, one baptism. What is your faith? Now in the book of Jude chapter 1 and at verse 20. Come on, you that are here. Amen. Come on back to Bible. I see. And when we hammer on this, they say, they don't like it. He think he the only one right. This ain't got nothing to do with Pastor Jennings. No, no. Stop trying to make it Pastor Jennings. <laughs> That's right. Stop trying to make it Pastor Jennings. That's right. This was written. I, listen, I wasn't born to 63. <laughs> This was here before I got here. <laughs> That's right. So don't come late and try to make this Pastor Jennings. No, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. In the book of Hebrews chapter 2 and at verse 3. Who spoke it first? Which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord. You better begin at verse 1. At verse 1. What is that? Therefore we ought to we give. We ought to give the more earnest heed. To the things which we have heard. To what you heard. Lest at any time lest we should any let them slip. forget them. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast. If the word spoken by angels was steadfast. And every transgression, and, every and, transgression and, disobedience and disobedience. Received a just recompense of reward. What did he say? How shall we escape? Hallelujah. How shall you get away, Charleston? How shall we escape? If we neglect so great a salvation. Which at the first. Who spoke it? Began to be spoken by the Lord. No, it came when Geno Jennings got here. Which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord. No, it <laughs> came when uh, Bishop Hancock got here. Which at the first began to be spoken no, by the Lord. No, it came when Bishop Johnson got here. Which at the first began to be spoken no. by the Lord. It came when Lawson got here. Which at the first began to be spoken no, by the Lord. It came when a when a Zusta Street got activated. Which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord. What? Which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord. This is before, before. you so-called Pentecostals. That's right. This is before you Baptists. Yeah. This is before you non-denominationals. That's right. This is before you apostolics. This was first spoken by, by the, the Lord. by the boss. And was confirmed. The boss. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. That's right. The boss. It's in your Bible. Yeah. Why are you scared to read it? Hebrews chapter 2. Why are you scared to believe three. it? You know, they jump and shout and speak in tongue off everything. That's true. But this. But this. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Holiness is God's way. That's right. Not this religious recycled trash. <laughs> That's right. Where you got praise dancers all up on a stage with psychedelic lights. <laughs> Amen. Half naked whim, women and women. homosexual men. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Women are like a church full of prostitutes and men are like a bunch of pimps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Long hair. Preachers, That's preachers right. with ponytails Ponytail. and bangs. That's right. Dye all in his hair, toupees on his head. Oh, yes. Manicured nail preachers, rings on every finger. That's right. He got a second wife and about to get rid of that and get his third. Amen. Because he said the Lord told him to. That's right. That's right. You're not keeping holiness. Holy. 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 For they that keep holiness holy. Go oh, back to Hebrew and finish that up. Which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord. Then what? And was confirmed oh, unto us. And was confirmed unto us. By them that heard him. And the apostles heard him and the prophets heard him. God also bearing them witness. How? Both with signs and signs wonders. Signs and wonders and direst miracles and, and gifts, gifts. of the Holy Ghost. According to what? According to his own will. Go back to the wisdom of Solomon chapter and verse. Back in the wisdom of Solomon chapter 6 and that verse 10. I want to drive this drive nail this right, in, right in creation. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Everybody got to be holy. That's it. Everybody. 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 That's right. I don't care what your religion is. Here, let me repeat myself. Your religion yeah. got to come out that Bible. That's right. Your salvation, the way you claim you saved, the, the way you claim you born again, yeah. got to be in that Bible. That's right. Your baptism got to be in that Bible. That's right. The way you preach. Yeah. That's right. The way you preach. I see. Men criticizing me now because I say that preachers shouldn't have music uh, to boost them to preach. Right. 
So somebody wrote me and sent me this scripture. Give me the book of Kings, second Kings, if I'm correct. Third chapter. Hmm. And begin at verse 15. And then give you what Jesus said, what happened to him, and what calls him to preach. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Second Kings chapter 3 and at verse Follow 15. Solomon, all you preachers that need organs and drums. The reason why we preach against it, because you're not in the spirit. That's if right. you was in the spirit, then you wouldn't follow the rhythm mm. of the organ. That's right. When the organ go from C, your voice is in C. Right. Uh, let me make an example. Turn the organ on, brother. Come on, turn the organ on quick now. Don't move slow on me. Turn the organ on quick and turn it up. Turn it up so I can hear it. Amen. Come on, let's not move. Take so long now. Let's just turn it up. Pull the draw bars out. Turn the volume up. Yeah. Is it on? Someone that know what they're doing, please turn it on. All right. Uh, turn it on. Let me hear it. Turn it up so I can hear it. Now, that's the way you preachers do. You'll talk in that key. That's right. Play it. Play a little bit. And when you see the Lord come in and find he's on his way, and you begin to look, and you say, whoa, whoa. Whoa! Now, change keys. Change any key. Oh, what's it going to do? When the Lord says come, I went over, went over, went over. Why, why you got your hands over your ears? That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Now, this is the scripture that was sent to me wow. to justify preachers preaching with the organ with accompany the them. Second Kings chapter 3 and verse 15. Parliament. But now bring me a minstrel. Bring me a minstrel, a musician. And it came to pass when the minstrel played. When the minstrel played. That the hand of the Lord came upon him. The hand of God came upon the prophet. Read and, on. And he said, thus saith the Lord. And make, he said, thus saith the Lord. Make this valley full of ditches. Yes. For thus saith the Lord, ye shall the prophet not prophet Elijah was given instructions. Right. And the spirit of the Lord did come upon him. Come upon him. When the music played. Right. But the Bible didn't say that the spirit of the Lord came upon him after the music played to preach. To preach. That's right. That's right. I agree 100%. The Bible says what? And But bring me now a minstrel. Read the whole thing. But now bring me a minstrel. Bring me a, a musician. And it came to pass when the minstrel played. When the instrumentalist played. That the hand of the Lord came upon him. The hand of the Lord came upon the prophet. And he said, thus saith the Lord. And he said, thus saith the Lord. Make this valley full of ditches. He started giving instructions. Right. He didn't do what you fellas doing today. No. You fellas are entertainers. That's right. Now, we believe that the word should be preached. Right. The way, the way. Jesus preached it. In the book of St. Luke. Jesus is the head of the church. That's right. Look at the way Jesus preached it. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 4 and verse 18. What is it? The spirit of the, the spirit of the Lord is the upon me. Spirit. Glory to God. The spirit of the, of Lord, the Lord is upon me. He told us what fell on him. Yes. The spirit of the Lord. And now he's going to give us the reason why. Because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel. That's what right. came? The spirit of the Lord. For what reason? Because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel. What came? The spirit of the Lord. For what reason? Because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel. No God sent Apostle need music. That's right. So I said, well, we do it to fire the people up. Oh, no. No. That's right. When the apostles preach. That's right. The Bible says, well, Peter. That's right. Yet speak the word. Speak the word. The Holy Ghost. That's right. Fell on all oh. them that heard it. Heard it. Keep holiness holy. 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 Keep holiness holy. Holy. That's right. So when the organist changed keys, preacher changed. Yeah. Because I, I, I came out of falsehood. Yeah. I've seen preachers 
struggle trying to preach and said, where is my organ player? I need help. No, you need the Holy Ghost. That's right. Bible didn't say the prophet needed an instrumentalist. No. He just called for one. That's right. And the Spirit of God came on him. That's right. But he didn't need one to preach. To preach. Because he preached before the instrumentalist ever came. That's right. He already had the anointing. That's right. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. This is how I preach it. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. I, I preach it, hallelujah, the way Jesus preached it. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. I don't need a drum beat. No. I don't need an organ. No. Don't need to hear a guitar. No. I could be in a valley where ain't no, no instruments nowhere. That's right. All I need is God. That's it. Right there, hallelujah. That's right. Right there. Right there. Don't need no music to help me at all. No. The spirit so of the, the Lord. Bible, the Bible never said in Kings no. that the instrumentalist was called so the man can preach. No. I agree the anointing came on him, but that ain't what we talking about. We no. talking about you fakers that need your instrument to help you preach. And, the, and then when you, they change, you change. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 32 and verse 4. Says what? Pour not out words where there is a musician. Pour not out words. Where there is a musician. Where there's a musician. And show not forth wisdom Don't out of time. Don't show wisdom out of time. A concert of music is a banquet of wine. Wait a minute, a concert of music and a banquet of wine. Is as a signet of carbuncles set in gold. Do you hear that? That's right. In order for the word of God to be clear, how in the world are people going to get what the preacher's saying with all that noise? That's right. There's a time and a season for everything. That's right. How in the world? That's right. Are you getting this? That's right. Old-fashioned holiness. Old not this modern entertainment junk. No. We want to come back to the Bible and keep holiness. Holy. Holy. That have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost. Wait a minute. How was the gospel preached? Listen at this. In 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 12. How was it preached? Unto whom it was revealed that unto none unto themselves. Was revealed, that none unto themselves. Not unto themselves. But unto us they did minister unto the us things. That did minister the things. Which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto that you. That by them. That's right. That preach the gospel unto you how? With the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven. That's what you got to have. That's right. That's what you fellas out there need. That have preached the gospel unto Holy you Ghost. with the Holy Ghost. When you got the Holy Ghost, you ain't got to worry about putting your hands over your ears like, right. you, like you got a cell phone to listen to. That's right. Holy Ghost. You won't struggle. That's right. Huh? That's right. Won't struggle. That's right. Won't need the organ. Of dan, dan, dan. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh -uh. no, no, no. It says preach it, not sing it. That's right. Preach the gospel. Jesus said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. For what reason? Because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. We're not moving from that. No. Keep holiness holy. That's right. Keep it out. Keep holiness holy. You entertainers that pose as apostles and prophets. I came up in the falsehood. You can see the preachers when the organ going, they take the microphone and shake it and put it to their mouth and away from their mouth to give this effect. <laughs> like they going down the drain. That's right. Sound like someone flushing them down the toilet. Amen. Get deeper and deeper. That's right. Down the toilet. That's right. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and read verse 7. Folks been going through this artificial trash so long, it got so, so bad they call anything trash. That's right. And then when someone else, someone like us come along, sticking with the Bible, they say, <laughs> oh, something wrong with him. So, wrong. That's a cult. All I'm doing is pointing you to the Bible. That's it. Keep holiness, holiness holy. holy. That's right. That's right. What is that? Back in the wisdom of Solomon chapter 6 and when verse 10. When you keep 10. holiness holy, Amen. Shall be judged yeah. holy. When you keep holiness holy, holy. it tell you to believe God. That's right. It didn't say touch and claim nothing. Right. That's right. When you keep holiness holy, holy. you ain't touching somebody else's car and house that they living in because <laughs> some dumb evangelist told you touch it and claim it, That's and you right. touching somebody's house and they in it. That's right. That's not holiness. That's no. covetousness. That's right. 
keep holiness. holiness. Holy. Glory to God. Amen. We're not budging. No. Huh? No, no. You folks can write me all. I get thousands of letters from all around the world. <laughs> I'm not budging. No way. Hmm? No, no. Hey, Amen. You let a brother come here and call for an organ. Come on, he need help to preach. You're going to be set down. Yes, you will be. Yes, you will be. Mm -hmm. That's right. You're going to be set down. Right. When, the, when, the, when they call for the musician, you don't see what the prophet did that constantly? No. None of them? None of them. Not none of them? No. You fellas can't even talk about Jesus without an organ. <laughs> you true. can't even talk about Jesus without a guitar or That's without right. a drum. A drum. The apostolic used to didn't do this, yeah. but now they became influenced by Baptist so-called reverence. Yeah. The world have stepped in the church, and the world changed the church. That's right. Now, beside the church preaching against the world, the church became impressed by the world. Now, the church is just like the world. That's right. Leviticus 10.10 10 says, put, put a, a difference. difference between holy, between holy and, and unholy, unholy. And between, between clean and unclean. You don't see no difference now. No. You don't see no difference now at all. Right. Everything is the same. Right. There's no distinguish now, even the apostolics. Years ago, that used to be a title worn with pride. <laughs> now, women preachers done took over that so-called faith. Yeah. yeah. Some men say, well, we don't believe in women pastors, but we believe in women preachers. And then some say, we don't believe in women preachers, but we believe in women pastors. And ain't one no better than the nope. other. That's right. That's huh? right. That's right. None no better than the other. The, the remarriage and divorce done took over the apostolics and the Pentecostals. Everything. Everything. Preachers are scared to preach against sin because they're scared of losing that income. That's right. You know, money has destroyed these religions. That's right. They have the money is the now is the modern golden calf in religion. That's right. Because if they kept, listen, if you kept holiness, holiness holy, holy, it wouldn't be a mini skirt or not a sink. No. If you kept holiness holy, it wouldn't be no half naked sinks. That's right. There wouldn't be no sisters looking like Jezebel. That's right. There wouldn't be no brothers trying to switch. That's right. There wouldn't be no preachers talking about, I don't want a first lady, I want to be the first man. That's right. That's right. If you kept holiness holy, holy, you wouldn't have no sick evangelicals claiming they're Christians trying to storm the Capitol. That's right. If they kept holiness holy, holy. holy. You won't Amen. find a so-called child of God with one weapon, That's but right. the Bible. That's right. The Bible said the weapon of our warfare is not carnal. Not carnal. That's right. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Do you hear the book of Ezekiel? In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, and at they verse 26. They have put no difference. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Preachers want to fight me over, because we don't believe in our brothers out here wearing short pants showing their necklace. Imagine that. A Imagine bishop want to fight me for being naked. <laughs> he right. wants to be naked. That's right. That's something. One bishop said, I want to debate you. I don't see nothing wrong with the women in my church wearing many skirts. I know you don't. Amen. I just know you don't. Can you imagine? <laughs> imagine that. Hey, man, he want to fight and defend the flesh. That's right. He want to defend the nakedness of that flesh. That's right. They have put no difference between the, no holy, difference. between the holy and profane. No difference at all. Neither have they showed difference. What? Neither have they showed difference. They haven't shown no difference. Between the unclean and the clean. Long-haired, so-called Christian men on choir. Gosh. Men playing drums with a ponytail. That's right. Preachers up with a ponytail. That's right. You mean to tell me you don't, have you gotten this spiritually warped? Amen. You don't see nothing wrong with it? That's the nature of a pig. Yeah. There's not a pig out here that complain about a, a, a puddle of mud. That's right. You can wash him, clean him. He can win the blue ribbon. Amen. Even I let him find that gate. That's right. If that gate open, he's running to that mud pond. That's right. Why? That's his nature. That's the right. Bible said if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. A new creature. Where's the newness of life at? Yeah. That's right. Where's the new life? That's right. Got to be a new life. Preacher called me from St. Louis, told me he was contending with a so-called Pentecostal preacher, saying that there's no sin. You won't go to hell for sin. 
This is supposed to be apostolic teaching now. Apostolic. If it ain't no, listen, if it ain't going to hell for sin, I ain't coming back here tomorrow. <laughs> no way. No, as nice as this weather is in Charleston. That's right. That's right. Hmm? I was walking down King Street, my wife and I, and there was a restaurant called the uh, Jazz Cafe. <laughs> huh? Lord. Hey, Amen. Our Lord. It wasn't a sin. <laughs> I'd be right in there. <laughs> Amen. I'd be leaning. Holy Ghost said, for they that keep holiness holy shall be judged holy. Keep it. Keep holiness holy. Keep it. That's right. You that go to these churches that claim their holiness, look around. Look around. Look at what's in the pulpit. Amen. Look how many women preachers is up there. Yeah. Look at your preacher just a fine having more than one wife. That's right. That's right. Look at him telling you, it ain't nothing wrong, as long as you don't overindulge. Yeah. Shooting pool, rolling dice. Yeah. Bingo in the church. That's right. Selling tickets at the door. That's right. Half drunk in quartet groups. <laughs> Lips <laughs> all burnt from cigarettes and cigars. They have put no difference between the holy they and profane. They have no difference. Between the holy and profane. Women preachers, a women convocation, women evangelists. The preacher's wife is the head of the women preachers council. That's right. Huh? That's right. And they claim they're apostles. They're fakers. Amen. Fakers. Keep holiness. Holy. 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 Amen. Come on, back to the Bible. Come on, I, I know it hurts your feelings to do it. <laughs> oh, it hurts yeah. mine. Oh, yeah. But I'm determined to make the resurrection. That's it. If I got to stand alone. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If I got to stand alone. That's right. I'm determined not to go to hell for or with nobody. Nobody. Are you getting me? Amen. That's why nobody can get the truth of God mixed up with none of this junk out here. And I'm so glad Amen. that this is distinguished. It's sanctified. That's right. That's it. Set apart. That's this it. is a sanctified, sanctified message. That's right. A holy sanctified message yes. makes a holy sanctified people That's right. set apart for God only. That's right. Amen. Not for this religious poison. Mm. Imagine that. You won't go to hell if you sin. And people believe this stuff. More and more, these motivational speakers is trying to water down the strictness of that Bible. Yeah. Here's the Bible says the wages of sin is, is death. death. Is death. It speaks plain. That's right. The wages of sin, sin is death. death. And the gift of God is eternal life. And these old false prophets and false apostles and fake bishops. That's right. Come on, they got a revelation. God revealed to them, there's no, you won't go to hell if you sin. Mm. God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. Notice the book of Romans. Romans chapter 8 and at verse 3. God sent of his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. For what reason? And for sin. For sin. Condemned sin. He justified it. Condemned sin. No, he didn't. He patched you on the back and said, you all right. Condemned sin. He condemned sin while he was where? In the flesh. That's right. He condemned it. Condemned it. Mm -hmm. That's right. He condemn it. And when you speak against sin, you know what they say? You're a cult leader. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. That's true. Yeah. That's what they'll say. No plays in the church. No banquets. Yeah. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. No selling tickets. No selling tickets. Mm -mm. No. Don't have to pay to see a choir. That's right. So many hundreds of people, when they find out I'm going to be somewhere, they'll call my secretary, Sister Rollins, and sometimes they ask her, uh, how much you got to pay to see Pastor Jennings? She said, you ain't got to pay to see him. Amen. People are shocked. Yeah. Because they're so used to paying to see a preacher. That's they right. was interviewing Joel Austin one day. He said, a preacher is just an actor. What? Yes. Oh, my Lord. And a journalist said, wait a minute, that's all you are? He said, yes, I'm, I'm just an actor. I'm mm. on the stage in the front of lights. I'm just an actor. He told the truth. <laughs> he right. is. He is. He is. That's right. Mm. I'm not an actor, brother. I'm a preacher. That's right made by hands of heaven. That's right. You're an actor, you get paid. Amen. 
I'm a preacher. I ain't getting paid. That I may make the gospel of Christ that without make, charge. Look at Apostle Paul down in Corinth. First Corinthians chapter nine and verse eight. That 18. I may make the gospel of Christ without charge. Without charging you. That I abuse not my power in the gospel. When you charge the people, that's church abuse. That that's right. Church abuse. When you charge the people, that's church abuse. That's right. And each right. time you charge the people to see anything, and that thing's supposed to be of God, do you hear what the Apostle Paul said? What is my hear, reward hear, then? Hear us. First Corinthians. Hear us. Mm -hmm. Church you go to, you gotta hear. Yeah. You gotta pay to see that, to hear that song. Mm. So you gotta pay to hear that choir. You gotta pay to hear that so-called preacher. Go ahead, man. So you gotta stand in line to buy a ticket. They hear that fraud? <laughs> That's right. You hear the word talking? First Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 18. What is it? What is my reward then? What is my reward then? Verily that when Verily I preach the gospel. When I declare God's word. I may make the gospel of Christ I without charge. I may make charge. the gospel of Christ without charge. That I abuse not that my I power. That I abuse not my authority. In the gospel. Wonderful, wonderful. You got to pay a preacher to preach. That's church abuse. That's right. Amen. That's right. You got to pay a choir to sing. Church abuse. That's right. You got to pay a soloist to sing. Church abuse. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. I got to pay all of these musicians that we have around the world to play, to praise God. To praise God. Church abuse. That's right. That's right. I got to pay you to praise God. Give me the book of Psalms. Quickly. Amen. Amen. You mean to tell me I got to pay you to praise God on the high sound and cymbals? High sound cymbals. Praise God on the organ? Psalms 150 and at verse 1. Tell what? Praise ye the Lord. Praise you the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. In the sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. And what? Praise him for his mighty act. Yes. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Yes. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. What? Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. I got to pay you and all just because you giving God praise. Right. On the trumpet. That's and right. now I got to pay you. That's right. Go ahead. Man. That's abuse. That's right. The word of God speak plain. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Someone say, I got to make a living some way then get a job doing something else. Go ahead, brother. Boy, I got to pay you. And you claim you praising God. Go ahead. You show me one person in that Bible Go ahead, that man. praised God on an instrument and got paid. Go ahead. If I'm praising God, I'm doing it for God's glory and not to entertain nobody. That's right. That's right. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him, hallelujah. Go and take God with the sound. Of the trumpet. Of the trumpet. Praise him with the sultry and heart. Praise him with the sultry and heart. Praise him with the tremble and dance. Wait a minute. Praise him with the tremble. And dance. And dance with it. When the spirit get a hold of you, the spirit, hallelujah, will get in your feet and make you dance. That's right. That's right. I got to pay you for dancing? For dancing. Not this junk where people play music over speakers and then they get praise dancers. All the musicians are playing and there's praise dancers doing steps. Right. <laughs> That's right. Praise That's right. dancers. Praise dancers. Temptations. That's right. Gladys Knight and the Pips. <laughs> Amen. Wonderful, wonderful. Entertainment. That's right. That's not church. Amen. It's entertainment. Amen. And the preachers want to fight me to protect the entertainment industry. That's it. That's it. That's what the churches are. They are entertainment industries, and preachers want to fight because now their uh, wallet, their income is being jeopardized. That's right. Because when the people start leaving, income being jeopardized. Yeah. Viewers, that's why you find these fellas all over social media fighting Pastor Dennis. Oh, yeah. Their income is getting jeopardized. That's right. They ain't come getting jeopardized when they see the people leaving. That's right. Talking about the truth of God all in their congregation. Income getting jeopardized. That's right. 
Are you listening? Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Harp. Praise him with the trimble and dance. What else? Praise him with stringed instruments. What? Praise him with stringed instruments. All these guitar players we got all across America and overseas. Right. I'm not paying them one dime. That's right. We had a guitar player come to me, Pastor Dean, I'm not going to play a lick until you give me a dime or I'm <laughs> leaving. I'm going to open all the doors in the building <laughs> and tell them that you choose which one you want to go out of. That's right. That's right. Wouldn't pay you a dime. That's wonderful. Wonderful You're teaching. supposed to be praising God. That's right. And when you're praising God, money is not on your mind. Amen. Are you listening, viewers? Praise him with straight instruments and organs. Pastor Dennis, you mean to tell me none of your ministers on payroll and your musicians? No! No. That's right. We want to keep holiness. Holy. 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 Wonderful. Do you hear what it says? Praise him with straight instruments and organs. And what else? Praise Wait a minute. Do the organ with it? Praise him with string instruments and organs. And organ. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Get loud cymbals. This beat hit him hard. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Get the high sounding cymbals. Let everything, Let everything that, that, has that breath have breath. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Let everything. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Let everything that has breath praise everything. the Lord. Everything. Everything. That can breathe. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. What I got to do now? Pay you that pay you that got breath? Mm. <laughs> That's right. If you got breath, you breathe the same. That's right. We ain't paying no choir. No. We way. ain't paying no musicians. No. No. Supposed to be praising the Lord. Praising the Lord. That's right. Mm -hmm. Let everything that has breath. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Everything. everything, everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Your bishop don't believe this view. That's why he want to fight this. That's right. It's, he he want to protect his income, his enterprise, his religious enterprise. Yeah. Organ players is leaving out of the churches. Drummers and horn players, and even harmonica players. That's right. One man wrote me and said, I played a washboard in church. Can I bring it and pray? He said, I'm baptized. I had the Holy Ghost. I believe in the truth. I told him, bring two washboards. <laughs> Amen. 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 Church has became a synagogue of Satan. That's right. They don't want to keep holiness holy. 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 Go back to 1 Corinthians chapter 1 so we can knock off real quick. Back in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 9. What is it? God is faithful. God is loyal. By whom also you were called. Praise his great name. God. God is faithful. God is faithful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's so faithful. Hallelujah. God is faithful. I can depend on everything that's in here. That's right. Everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can depend on it. I don't have to worry about him changing nothing. No. You churches want to modernize it. That's we right. ain't modernizing nothing. No. We're going to keep holiness. Holy. 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 And ain't nobody coming in here changing it either. That's right. Wonderful. What Wonderful. did he say? God is faithful. God is faithful. By whom you were called unto the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ yes. our Lord. Now I beseech you, brethren. Now I beseech you, brethren. By the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. What did God say? That ye all speak the same thing. Amen. Amen. Same thing. Everybody got to speak the same thing when same that's thing. done. And that there be no divisions Won't be no among argument you, among you. But that you be perfectly joined together. How well? In the same. How well? Perfectly joined together. Completely. That's it. Amen. Completely. That's right. Join together. In the same mind. And what else? And in the same judgment. Will you use the judgment of Scripture? If everybody used the judgment of Scripture, there won't be a non-denominational church in the world. No, it wouldn't be. Won't be nobody claiming they're non-denominational, apostolic, Pentecostal, Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian. Won't nobody be saying nobody. that stuff. That's right. Everybody will be saying holy. holy. Even, <laughs> even, even right. some of the apostolics now, they're trying to change their rhythm. Amen. They're trying to slide out of that apostolic label. And claim, <laughs> they say, they, now they, many of them saying, you got to be holy. Amen. Before then, they was talking about you got to be apostolic. Now they got all these two wives, women preachers everywhere, even mm -hmm. some of the apostolics. Uh, even the church that uh, on 22nd and Bamman Street that Johnson used to be the overseer of. And he died in 61. And he was known for his strictness and hardcore Bible teaching. Amen. Even then, he'd been dead for 60 years. Now that organization denounced speaking in tongues. My Lord, my Lord. 
They say you ain't got to speak in tongue now. My Lord. The false prophet that's down there said speaking in tongue was for them back in old days. He said, you that done it, you didn't know no better. Mm. My Lord, my Lord. My Lord. And what make it so bad, mm. you got old mothers and old brothers that received it 40 and 50 years. Now they saying, my Lord, amen. My Lord, my Lord. Amen. You see, you can sit under the truth, but that don't mean the truth is in you. That's right. When the word of God is truly in you, no false prophet can move it if you're steadfast. That's right. That's right. That's right. Some right. folks say, I get in the word. Big deal. Is it in you? Is it in you? You can get in the word all you want. That's right. It got to get in you. Oh, yes. Then it got to settle in you. Yeah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, take God. When it's settled in you, yes. nothing and nobody can pull you out of it. That's right. Nobody. Imagine having the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues for 50 years. And then the bishop that preached it dies. And then some jellyback false prophet come up and say he got a revelation from God speaking in tongues. is not the proof. You, you don't need that to have the Holy Ghost. And now after 50 years, you say, you know what? I knew it had to be a much easier way. That's right. He told the people, just say you have it. Just say you have the Holy Ghost. That's good enough. That's my Lord, my Lord. Never mind. Somebody wrote me and said, if you was an apostle, you wouldn't teach Terry. You would be laying hands on everybody and they received the Holy Ghost. I got to teach Terry because that's what the Bible said do. That's right. I got to teach all of it. Terry ye. The Bible says what? Terry ye in the, the city. The Bible says what? Terry ye. In the city of Jerusalem. Give chapter and verse. Luke chapter 24 and verse 49. That's what? And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon Jesus you. Jesus said, behold, I send the promise of the Spirit upon you. But tarry you. If Jesus said it, I got to preach it. That's right. They was, tarry just simply mean to wait. That's right. They received the Holy Ghost. They That's waited. It. That's it. And then in some incidents, the apostle laid hands on them. Right. And then in other incidents, it fell while they were preaching. That's right. And I experienced all the above. Hallelujah. That's right. I experienced all of it. Amen. I've seen folk receive the Holy Ghost while the word was preaching. While the word was going. And I've seen folk lay, I lay hands on them and they received it. That's right. Then I've seen folk, uh, they tarry, wait on it. Right. Don't charge me with it. I'm not the Holy Ghost director. <laughs> That's right. That's I right. can't decide how you're going to get it. How you going to get if it? If I can decide, I'll be throwing it on you because you talk too much. Mommy, start talking. Shoo. <laughs> Go right in your mouth and you get started. <laughs> That's right. Make it fall on you. That's right. It's not up to me. I can't decide how God going to give it to you. No, no. That's not for me to say. No. Who hath directed the spirit of the Lord? Do you hear what the prophet said? In Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 13. Who direct God's spirit? Or being his counselor hath taught him. Or God's counselor and taught him. With whom took he counsel? Who did God take counsel from? And who instructed him? Who instructed God? And taught him in the path of and judgment. And taught him in the path of judgment. And taught him knowledge. Taught him knowledge. And showed to him showed the way of him. understanding. You see you people better stop going to the Bible and say, if it was left up to me, I think it should be like this. I, I think it should be like that. I think your thoughts and God's thoughts don't mix. No, no. My thoughts are not your thoughts. God set up a way. Yeah. And now tell the world you got to come his way. His way. You got to lay aside what you think. That's right. And everybody got to speak the same thing. Same thing. Everybody got to be born again the same way. That's right. All of you that bow your head and raise your hands, you never will see. No. You got tricked. You got tricked. You got tricked awful. <laughs> That's right. You that looked at some fraud on television, awful. whether it was Benny Hinn or Creflo Dollar or T.D. Snakes or any of them. Amen. Or your pastor. Yeah. If your pastor stood in front of you and told you you that want Christ in your life, stand on your feet and repeat after me, and you did this in your church. Sincere. Amen. Put your hands up, mascara running down your lipstick lip. That's right. Talking about Lord Jesus come into my heart, come and send and wash me, cleanse me white as snow. And the preacher said, if you repeated that prayer, you saved my friend. Jeez. You no more saved than a tiger can get high and believe that his stripes turn to a plaid jacket. My Lord. You ain't saved at all. No salvation. 
That's Acts right. two thirty eight. The apostle said. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. That goes for you too, preacher. Amen. Preacher, you've been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. You didn't obey Jesus. No. Jesus ain't never told nobody to be baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No, no. Jesus said, Be baptized in the name. The name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. I'm a son at birth. I'm a husband at marriage. I'm a father because my wife and I got seven kids. Yeah. But if you ask me my name, what am I going to tell you, son, husband, and father? No. No, no. I'm going to tell you Jennings. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Jennings is my name. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are titles. Right. The name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is Jesus, and he's the Christ. That's right. So Matthew 28, 19 was fulfilled in Acts 2, 38, on the day of Pentecost, when Peter stood up with the eleven and declared what? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Peter didn't say, Bow your head and raise your hands, join the church no. and all of that religious rubbish that come out of hell. Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized every, How one, much? Of, every one of you. That goes for everybody here tonight who don't have this. I don't care if you a preacher, a so-called reverend, apostle, a bishop, if you're a pastor. That's right. And you baptize your congregation, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Hey, Mr. Pastor, Mr. Pastor. you not baptized. That's right. And your whole congregation got to go back in water. That's right. And do it over. That's right. Then you, the, here, the Bible says, then Peter. Said unto them, repent. You got to repent for your sins. And be baptized, every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. And what did he promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You don't have your salvation like that. That's right. Like that, right. what he just read. Forget right. Geno Jennings. Get rid of him. Yes. Forget his name. <laughs> That's right. Take Geno Jennings. Just take that name and bury it. That's right. And just focus on scripture. That's right. Devil make you look at me because uh, to many I sound harsh, mean, rough. You used to preachers come along tickling you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. <laughs> That's what they used to, Harris. Preacher come tickle you. Jesus. <laughs> That's right. We come along and take the Bible and hit you with the scripture. Hit you with it. Harder than a man take that switch and hit a horse. Shut out! <laughs> That's right. They don't like that. No. It hurts them. Amen. And man, he'll look at that second wife and tell him, look, I don't know what you brought me to hear that crazy man for. I ain't going to give you up. Huh. If that man had a second wife, he wouldn't give her up. Listen, I give up a second wife, a third wife, and a fifth wife to keep me out of hell. That's right. Just so happened I'm not in that predicament. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. But if I had a second wife and my first wife was still living, if I want to see God in see peace, God in peace. I had to give her up. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I will have to give her up. That's right. Or burn in hell. Amen. Amen. Hey, Bishop, you got a second wife and your first wife is living? Tim chapter Mark, quickly. Mm -hmm. So I can knock off. Oh, you got a lot to repent for, Mr. Reverend. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Reverend, your ponytail wearing Reverend. Huh? That's right. Listen at Jesus. Mark chapter 10, we're right at verse 10. Said what? And in the house, his disciples asked him again of the same man. And manner. said what? And he saith unto them, Whosoever, Whosoever shall put away his wife, shall put away his wife, and marry another, and marry another one, committeth adultery against her. Commit adultery against her. And if a woman shall put away her and husband, if a woman get rid of her husband, and be married to another, and get another man, she committeth adultery. Now go preach. Now go preach. Now put your hands over your ears. <laughs> That's right. Now get your organ. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Bunch of heathens. That's right. They are religious church going heathens. Amen. Amen. But this old fashioned holiness, holiness is here stronger and better than it ever was. He shall take holiness. And all of you that want to be holy, holy. for real. Right. Pack up and leave the church you're in right. right now. Let the preacher threaten you. His threat don't mean nothing. That's right. Let the preacher threaten you. Let him tell you you're going to die. You're going to die anyway. What's the big deal? Amen. Let him get in the spirit. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Shut the Lord. The Lord, I just, the Lord just spoke to me and told me if you leave, your house going to burn down. Amen. No, if you stay there, all the work's going to burn down. All the work's. 
preachers try to use scare tactics to get you to stay. I'm glad I don't have to do that stuff. That's wonderful. You resort to scare tactics to keep people in the church. If the word of That's God wonderful. don't keep you here, then uh, you're not sound no how. That's right. So you that are watching, uh, you pack up right now. I don't care about your position. Leave. Leave. Don't look at what they're paying you. Leave. Amen. If you're a pastor in the organization, leave it. That's right. Well, should I write them? Did you write them to go? <laughs> Amen. Did you write them when you came? No, you ain't got to write them to leave. Come out from among them. What a battle said, do all things decent and in order. Williams, would you please read to the people who are trying to decide whether to write a letter to Bishop to give them a heads up that they're about to leave? What did the Bible, how did the Bible say they should leave? 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. That's what? Wherefore, come out from among, among Wherefore, them. Wherefore, write a letter. Come out from among them. Wherefore, write a small thesis. Wherefore, come out from among Wherefore, them. Wherefore, write a few paragraphs. Wherefore, come out from among them. It says, just leave. Come out from among, come out from among them. them. And do what? separate, saith the Lord. Who said it? Saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing. Don't write them nothing. That's right. Amen. Don't write, don't email them, don't text Come them. Out. Don't out. even put a note on a pigeon. <laughs> That's right. Nothing. Come out from among them. You what? Wherefore, come out from among and them. And if the preacher said, that's not in order, tell them that the way God said do it is that orderly. That's right. This is holy. That's right. Huh? That's right. This is the holy way of leaving false churches. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. This is the holy way. Amen. To leave a trap. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. We're going to keep that scripture holy. Holy. Keep it holy. We're going to keep it. Leave it. That's right. What should they do with him? Wherefore, come out from among them. I don't care if they call themselves apostolic, Pentecostal. You know, the preacher's upset with they this because upset, this is the greatest thing over social media. That's right. Oh, there's not a holiness program on social media that's banging creation. That's right. Thundering. And they don't like it. They don't like it. Hey Amen. I mean, they don't like it at all. Oh, no. I mean, the preachers are upset. They're hollering and <laughs> mad. Glory to God. It bothers them That's to right. see when we travel around the world, all these people going down in water right. in the name of Jesus Christ. They, they, they can't stand it. That's right. No, you that like are it. here, save your soul. That's it. That's Repent it. and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's Anybody it. here tonight want to obey the Bible? The Bible. The Bible. And be baptized. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. If you want to get your salvation right yeah. according to the Bible, That's it. stand on your feet tonight if you want it. That's it. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Glory to God. All of you that are standing, go right to the back. Amen. All of you that are standing, go right to the back. Amen. Everything got, everything got this to do. That's right. Everything. 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 Amen. All of you that done bow your head and raise your hand, you're not saved. No. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, none of you. Who? None of you. Amen. You that said you joined the church and you saved? No, 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 no. You're not saved. No. You that went to the Catholic church and hid in your coat closet and on the screen and told Father Cunningham something? That's right. Mm -hmm. Father Cunningham behind the other closet with the altar boy, the altar boy. trying to fix his robe. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> That's right. The Bible said repent. And be baptized I know many of you find this offensive and say he's vulgar. He don't preach with love. I preach by the power of God and the authority of God and God is love. That's right. God said I didn't come to bring peace. That's right. But a sword. That's and right. I ain't seen nobody play with a sword. <laughs> no. I got a sword gospel. Oh, yes. And my sword gospel is not a plastic blade. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Like it's poking you. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> but I ain't doing that. No, no, no. When I was a kid, my mother bought me a plastic sword. And I remember seeing the old movie, Three Mustard Tears. Me and my best friend, and if we didn't have a sword coming up, we'd get two branches. <laughs> Just going at it. <laughs> huh? Going at it. Not now, brother. Oh, I no. got a two-edged sword. Two-edged sword. I'm cutting your mama. <laughs> That's right. I'm cutting your husband. Go ahead, man. Your husband, you can't even protect your wife from the sword. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Cutting your, cut, cutting your children. Cutting them. Cutting your grandma. <laughs> Amen. Cutting your granddaddy. Go ahead, brother. Cutting your apostle. Yeah. Cutting your bishop. And you can tell when they cut 
because a wounded dog holler. That's right. Cutting them, I said. Cutting, cutting them. Cutting your friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Cutting them. Cutting them. The word is cutting them close. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. Hey, man, you bear in mind. All right. Who we'll give me the correct time, brothers? Hallelujah. What's that? 820. All right. Come on back tomorrow. Prayer begin at 11 o'clock. We'll find out how many went down in water tonight. All right, viewers. You heard it tonight. You tune in again tomorrow now. Yeah, be obedient now. You be obedient. You pack right up tonight and leave your church. Tonight. Tonight. Don't tonight. even call your bishop. If he say, I haven't seen you, tell him. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> huh? Amen. And the reason why they don't, they miss you because they, that envelope is not there. That's right. They don't see your name on that brown envelope no more. That's why they miss you. <laughs> you repent of your sins and come out of these churches and get your soul right with God. That's it. All right. Let us all stand. And uh, Brother Minister Evans will close us out in prayer. Gracious God, our Father, most holy and everlasting God, Lord, we come before you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We're thanking you, Lord God, for the word that has been preached to our hearts. Lord God, we ask that you secure your word in our hearts and minds, that we might be obedient unto your word. We pray, Lord God, that you bless Pastor Jennings, bless his heart and mind, bless him to continue to bring forth the word of God. Lord God, we thank you for the teaching which you are giving us. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. We're thanking you, Lord God, for your holy way, for your one way, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for being the God that you are, that one God, Lord God. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, and pray that you allow your word, Lord God, to take root. Lord God, in someone's heart tonight, Lord God, heal someone, Lord God, that is racking in pain in their body. Lord God, touch someone's mind, Lord God, that they might have the mind of Christ, Lord Jesus. Lord God, let us come together as one. Let us have the same mind, one toward another. Let us speak the same things, Lord Jesus. Lord God, all of these blessings we do ask in the name of Jesus Christ. And let every heart and mind say, Amen. Amen.